I mean, it's a, and now here's the thing on the bottom, it's a little bit weird. Look. Yeah. So I can try, I have an idea how to fix that. Wait, let me see it again. It's like it creased. Yes, so our first attempt at doing the trim tabs did not go perfectly according to plan. I'm not gonna do the full step-by-step -step of doing the trim tabs until we come back and do it again. Yes, we haven't actually finished doing them again. We kind of just moved on with the build because this is such a small part, but I did want to go ahead and show you what went wrong with what we did and then how to avoid the problem that we had with this um, kind of a crease that ended up in the end of the trim tabs there where we were bending them. So we are working on 9-16 step five where it tells you to bend the two tabs on both ends of the trim tab skins. And so you make these two wood wedges and you're supposed to stack them as you see in figure five on 9-16. You stack the two wood wedges that you cut and it tells you to clamp it to a workbench in order to go and put these bends into the trim tabs. And so we're like, okay, here we go. Start doing it just like it says to. And Tyler's there. We're both looking at it. We're recording everything. We go and fold down the top side of one of the ends of one of the trim tab skins. And that's the side that's now wedged in between the two wood wedges we've cut out. And it turns out perfectly exactly like the directions go. And then we go in now are folding up the bottom side, which is clamped between one of the wedges and the workbench. And everything looks great until we go and pick it up and look at it. And lo and behold, here is this weird little crease wrinkle thing. And it's like, ah, uh, well, that's strange. What happened here? Why is this this way? And so I tried first to see if I could fix it by putting the uh, wood wedge block back in there and using the mushroom set on the rivet gun to try and flatten it out. It did not work, um, but I tried. I was trying to see if there's a way to fix it. Um, and w we knew now, okay, we're going to have to reorder these and try and get it fixed, but it's like, well, we've already mucked it up. So let's try and play on the other end to figure out what went wrong. And so we're starting to clamp down the other side and I suddenly realized, oh, ho, ho, wait a minute. There is a bit of a bevel to the edge of the top of our workbench. So what I mean is where the top of the workbench meets the side edge there, of the workbench, it's been rounded out just a little bit, so it's not just this blunt, hard, right angle. Uh, easier to not get like um, splinters or whatnot that way, so it's it's been beveled ever so slightly, and that ever so slight little bevel on it is apparently what was enough for it to give then when rivet, uh, using the rivet gun there to try to bend that end of the tab. And so I had thought about, okay, well, should I put like a different wood block under there? And Tyler came up with the idea of using the um, back riveting plate that we have for back riveting. And so we pulled that out and clamped that to the table now because that does have a much straighter, um, more like harsh 90 degree angle, meaning that there's no bevel there to it like there is on the, the edge of the wood workbench and so there should be nothing for there's nowhere for that skin to buckle when we're trying to put that fold into it with the rivet gun so this in theory what we were thinking is what's going to keep it from having that same little crease so we went ahead clamped it down with the the back riveting plate on the, the end of the workbench and then clamp those wood blocks to it and lo and behold it did work out <laughs> Top looks okay. Ah, I did it! Woo! -hoo! It worked! All right, so it just needed something harder underneath it. Underneath it that it couldn't like buckle against. I think that's just what it was, you know, because just looking at it now, I think it's just that the wood Wait, had on, enough of a thing. Quick, give me a quick video so I can post this to people. Are you ready? <laughs> we're gonna, we're doing this off the cuff. It's a fortunately round two worked out a lot better than round one. And after seeing, you can see here, 
how it made like this weird ridge when I folded this bit down. There's like this strange ridge here. And I looked at the table here where I had it and I was trying to figure out like what happened. And the only thing I suddenly thought about is that the end of this table that it was clamped down to is kind of rounded um, from when I made it so we don't get like splinters or nothing. And the, it didn't have like necessarily enough resistance, I guess, to because it wasn't like perfectly flat there. And it must have just given it enough give to to do this little ridge, this little pillow in there. And so decided to try, it's like, what can I put down that's gonna be, you know, actually flat and like a right angle for it to push against. And Tyler thought of this, getting the, the um, plate here for when we do our back riveting. And so I clamped that here to the edge of the table and then went and clamped, just like it said to, um, the bits on top with the uh, the two wood bits just like it has in the directions and tried it again and fortunately it worked out don't have any of the weird uh, pillowy ridge there so it's nice and and flat and it's sitting together really well and flush so that seemed to be all I needed is it just needed to have yeah, man, that looks good. Seem to do it. So well, this one's still garbage because we have to fix the other end. But at least I know how to do the second one properly. So yay. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so there you have it. When you're doing your trim tabs, I would just make sure if you've got a workbench that's got a nice, hard, blunt right edge, awesome. If you don't, find something that does, something where when you line up the edge of that trim tab, it's going to have something solid there underneath it so you don't end up with the same little buckling problem. If you've already done this, if you've already had it happen, the good news is at least from when I called Vans to reorder the parts is that they said it's apparently very common for people to reorder the trim tabs. I don't know if it's specifically for this issue or from when they're trying to do the other bending and putting too much of a crimp in it, but apparently it's pretty common for people to have to reorder the trim tab parts and redo those. So if that's any consolation or makes you feel a little bit better. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so for more videos like these and to follow along as we build our RV tent. Oh, 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 oh,